welcome back to the channel guys welcome back to the channel so today's video is one of those videos that i don't like doing on this channel so the picture you are seeing on the screen is the home of um former kiambu women rep aspirant gladys chania and her husband george mwangi the second picture is that of gladys chania and the following picture is of george mwangi now i also have a clip uh, there's also a clip of uh, gladys chania singing apparently this is the same day that the husband went missing allegedly i'm not sure you know things you find on the internet you just never know but it's being reported that the clip was actually filmed on the day that george mwangi went missing now on friday yesterday gladys chania was arrested over the death of her husband george mwangi allegedly Police say she is the prime suspect in the murder of Mwangi. Mwangi was an engineer, an electrical engineer. He used to work away from home in Rwanda. So he had a full-on engineering career in Rwanda and he would travel back and forth uh, to come and see his family. Mwangi and Gladys have been married for, I think, over 20 years and they have three children. Now, Mwangi had actually traveled home for uh, the holidays and he was reported missing on Tuesday, October 11th, which was actually the day of his trip back to Rwanda. He arrived home for holidays on September 13th and was a few hours away from leaving his home to catch his flight at the JKRA. Now, after Mwangi went missing, Chania reported after Mwangi went missing, Chania reported her husband missing at Kamwangi police station and later that evening at Mwea police post. Chania told detectives that on Sunday morning he went downstairs and then disappeared from their home in Mangu Kiambu. My husband was alive on Sunday morning. He went downstairs and never came back. He did not carry his mobile phone. And in the evening, when he failed to show up, the next day I reported the matter at Kamwangi Police Station and later at Moya Police Station, which is within my jurisdiction. He then confirmed, confirmed that we have been married for 24 years and have three children together. He, she, she further went... She further goes ahead to say that we have been married for 24 years and have three children together. He had not expressed any fear for his life previously. Unfortunately, on Wednesday, Mwangi's body was found wrapped in a polythene bag and dumped in Kieni Forest, Gatundu North. Mwangi was only 58 years old. Now, Kiambu Police Commander Peminas Kioi has disputed an earlier report by Chania that Mwangi walked downstairs on Sunday and disappeared. Ms. Kioi said preliminary investigation shows that the victim was killed in their house and later dumped in the forest. The police boss said four other suspects are in custody in relation to the same murder. Now, it's also emerging that Ms. Chania is involved in several other court cases. Her latest appearance in court was actually last month on September 29th at the Kiambu Law Courts where she is fighting a fraud case. She also has an active case at the Thika Law Courts where she is facing two charges of defrauding two people of 400,000 Kenya shillings by promising them that she was in a position to facilitate their immigration to America. In another case, the Salvation Army Church in Thika is seeking up to 3.5 million Kenya shillings from her organization right at home rehabilitation center. Something else that has emerged out of this case is that there was a love triangle. So there's an evidence of a love triangle involved in this case. So detectives have actually gathered that Mwangi was killed following a love affair involving him and his mistress identified as Lucy Modoni. Now Lucy Modoni is uh, allegedly a secretary at a local school. Now I wonder if it's I wonder if that is a local school in Kiambu. I want to believe so. I'm not very sure. 
The Crime Research and Intelligence Bureau team recovered some of the murder weapons suspected to have been used to commit the heinous crime. Inside his bedroom, inside his bedroom were sheets soaked in blood, curtains and clothes hidden in a room next to the master bedroom. How do you kill allegedly? How do you kill someone and just leave evidence hanging around? Come on, do you even watch documentaries of killers? Just saying. The police said there were blood splatter patterns on the bedroom walls, wardrobe and stairway indicating he may have been killed and his body dumped inside a forest. The wife is believed to have been masterminded. The wife is believed to have masterminded the murder of her husband following her discovery that the father of their three children was having an affair with another woman. Now, uh, Mr. Mwangi's body was actually recovered by casual laborers working in tea plantation. Um, the body, as I said earlier, was wrapped in a polythene bag and covered under a heap of cartons. And that was on Wednesday, October 12th. Now, when the body was found, obviously the casual laborers reported the matter to the chief and sub subsequently the chief then went to the police. The deceased the deceased wife is suspected of having been assisted by a newly employed casual laborer and other accomplices in committing the murder of her husband. So far, three suspects connected to the murder are in custody, assisting detectives with investigations. So again, I will be following up on this case just to see how it progresses. But it's just so unfortunate that we are now at this stage where it is just easy for us not to resolve issues but to kill each other it's weird times we are living in it's really weird times anyway may the body of Mwangi rest in peace it's so unfortunate now these kids will get to grow without a father how sad and without a mother because if the mother ends up being you know detained for life then obviously they won't have both parents so i'm just praying for strength during these difficult moments so anyway, you are now up to date with this case, guys. If you're not subscribed to the channel, come on, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Please help me get 2,000 subscribers. I'm so close. I can smell it. Thank you so much. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.